Hello, my name is Dr. Stephen Stokes. Welcome to the channel. Thanks for watching. I had a viewer request a video about RNA and how it relates to brain health. I thought that's a great topic and here's the response. Here's the video. So RNA is ribonucleic acid and it's extremely good for problems with memory. It's good for improving circulation and it's excellent for recovery, regeneration and healing in the body. And I'd like to explain to you those mechanisms if I may. So first of all, again, RNA is ribonucleic acid and it's very different than DNA. DNA is something we're mostly familiar with. It's that um, double strand helix that we see. And uh, DNA is where the body stores all of its programming. It is where the blueprints are stored for anything that the body wants to do. So if you break your foot and you want to repair your foot, those plans to fix that, to put it back together again, they're going to be stored in the DNA. So it's extremely important, right? The RNA, if you look at it, it's a bit different looking. It's a single strand. I like to think of the DNA as two hands that are folded. And I think of the RNA as a single hand with fingers outstretched. And it's a good way to think of it because the RNA, those fingers that are outstretched, they're going to do things and they're going to transfer information from the DNA within the cell to something called a ribosome where it's going to activate the mechanism of protein synthesis. And protein synthesis is the basis of all healing, all regeneration, all recovery within the body. So it's pretty darn important, right? And if you don't have enough of this RNA messenger, then a lot of that extra protein is not going to be utilized for repair and recovery. And instead, it could just float around in the blood and it could impede circulation. And that's why a lot of people who have uh, cold hands and cold feet, if you have excess protein in the blood and not enough of this RNA messenger, you can have coldness, coldness in the hands and feet. If you take a RNA supplement, it gets rid of all that excess protein and puts it to use, right? and it improves the circulation, makes your hands and feet feel warmer. Now this is this will help if you have excess protein. How do you know? You could just take it. It's not gonna be harmful. And if you're taking RNA as a supplement, it is going to speed up and influence the uh, cellular activity. So if your body's trying to do something, if it's trying to heal that broken foot, if it's trying to repair a gut, if it's trying to repair damaged cells, or turnover cells in the body as we're aging, which is a normal process. By supplementing with RNA, we can make sure that those blueprints get within the cell to the right place to really make sure that that job gets done properly. It's really important, right? Ribonucleic acid, they uh, make the supplement from a yeast, so nobody's going into human cells and extracting RNA. We get it from a specific type of a yeast. It's very safe. It's not an expensive supplement and I recommend it for anybody suffering or anybody who just wants to improve the way their body heals. Now, also, there is a direct effect on cellular memory with this RNA. So one of the really dramatic things is that if you're somebody that needs to improve your memory, short-term memory especially, let's say you're going to write an examination or something, you're going to have to be on your A game, take some of this RNA supplement before you do that it's going to improve your memory. Or if you're somebody suffering from memory loss, maybe you have a pathology and you're worried about that, you're going to want to supplement with RNA because it's going to assist in the memory. Plus it's going to assist in your body recovering, regenerating and healing. So I hope this was very useful. RNA is not an expensive product. It's available through standard process. I'm going to put a link in the description as always. I appreciate your support on this channel. And uh, if you've had experiences with RNA, just reach out to me, let me know in the comments. I have again used it extensively for all of my uh, studying when I was in school. And now I use it in protocols where somebody is trying to heal something. Maybe it's a chronic condition like a broken foot or maybe a bad disc in your back. And it's just not quite getting there usually by putting in six to nine RNA a day, it will just tighten up those pathways and get the job done. Hope this was useful. I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.